Are you looking for unique ways to drive external traffic to your Amazon listing to spike ranking? In this video, I'm going to look at three different strategies using Reddit ads that I've used to successfully launch products on Amazon. And if you're tired of crappy Facebook rebates losing you money, make sure you stay through to the end to see the last strategy. Here we go. I've built and led multiple seven-figure Amazon brands. Now, I'm setting out to share how I did it with radically transparent and detailed weekly videos. Join the journey with me and break free. Welcome to Heist. Okay, so let's go over my shoulder and, and create these three different ad types using Reddit ads. For the unacquainted, this is basically reddit.com. It's one of the most popular news and interest oriented websites uh, on the internet worldwide. And so you've got kind of a homepage here, which will list the most popular topics on Reddit. So this is going to be a lot of new news items or kind of key things happening um, in the day uh, that you're looking at this. But what's really cool about it, similar to Facebook groups or interest targeting or uh, forums on the internet that are oriented around niches, there's subreddits or directories within this main platform of reddit.com where very hyper-focused uh, niches or interest groups can go to find articles about things that they care about. So let's use, you know, we're coming into summer, let's use gardening as an example. There's a ton of um, like uh, passionate gardeners. It's a passion-based niche, which I like it on, on Amazon. Um, let's just assume that we're a gardener and we were um, on reddit.com. So if we go to gardening, that's a subreddit. There's basically 2.6 million members that are interested in gardening and that basically, um, flag this as an interest that they like to come to as a subreddit. And when you come into here, you can kind of see here, there's 2.7 million members. There's over 2000 online right now. And this is going to list all of the top posts of the day that are oriented around this gardening subreddit. So if you kind of scroll down here, you've basically got a greenhouse. Now here's what's interesting and what we're going to be targeting with this example is you see here that there's this promoted, it's pretty subtle, but there's a promoted thing here. And then this is basically an ad. So it's, you know, as you scroll down the feed of posts for the day, uh, there's an actual ad here, which will highlight a, an offer. And we're basically going to go in and create one here. So let's show you how this looks to create one. So you're going to come into ads.reddit.com. You're going to create an account. You got to sync a credit card and validate your email, all that fun stuff. But once that gets sorted out and it's a couple minute kind of process to get signed up, you can basically create a campaign. Um, so if you've ever run a Facebook ad, this is very similar to Facebook ads, but instead of typing in an interest within Facebook, you're looking at a subreddit interest within Reddit. Um, so we'll go ahead and create a campaign. You can kind of over, go over my shoulder here. So let's call this uh, kind of gardening launch. Um, there's a bunch of different ways or behaviors that you can target. So you can look at reach, traffic, conversions, video views, app installs. I typically do this conversions one right here, which is kind of oriented more around people with buying intent or that have shown uh, an interest in buying products. And they've got pixel data very similar to what Facebook has to track those kind of behaviors. And we'll kind of start off from there. Again, we'll just kind of call this gardening launch, gardening product launch. So here's uh, an important area. You can basically select the location. So all of those 2.7 million members aren't all going to be within uh, the United States. So I'm going to target the United States here. If you're doing a UK based launch or a Germany based launch or Japan, any of those regions you can target within the, uh, within the group here. So I've targeted the United States and then again, communities. So this is the subreddit that I was talking about gardening. So I'm going to come in here and it looks like there's 500,000 members within the United States that are fans of that gardening subreddit. So that's what I'm going to select here. And it'll basically show you this daily impression. So I'm um, going to have the opportunity to tap into north of 580,000 eyeballs a day um, with my particular ad. You select a budget, you can select a bid amount, um, kind of similar to Amazon pay-per-click. Um, this 50 cents isn't going to be what you're going to bid every click. It's going to be a maximum of 50 cents. So if they can find an opportunity to bid below that, this this ad platform will find bids uh, no more than 50 cents. But many of the averages will be be less than that. I think most of my campaigns run around that 40 cent range per click. And then basically run continuously. And then you hit continue. And then you basically get into the actual creative. So you can either do a link-based post or URL-based post that clicks through to something. Or you can do a video post. Um, I typically do these link-based based posts. 
So let's kind of find an actual example on Amazon of, of what um, what a product might be that we may want to do. I don't know what people buy. There's a gardening bag. Let's look at gardening bag. So let's say you're passionate about gardening and you want to get your bag for the summer. Oh, just for fun, let's actually see what this, this market looks like. Okay, so the average revenue for products in this niche is just shy of 16,000. Average reviews is 380. You know what, this is actually a pretty decent product. So there's a product idea for somebody if you want to sell a gardening bag, but let's kind of come down here and find, this one's kind of super colorful, I like that. Let's see. Cool, so this one's actually pretty cool. Let's um, Let's pretend that this is our product for this ad. Just download this image. Bada bing, bada bang. Okay, sweet. All right, so let's just pretend that we're doing like a a fifty percent off launch. So this product is is forty four bucks. Let's say for this launch that it's um, let's say we make it thirty bucks, and the average price is fifty nine. So let's um, like without even a coupon code, let's assume that we're doing a fifty percent off discount on this one. So if we come down here. 50% off launch special. Now for this link section here to help with ranking, whenever I'm sending external traffic to my listing on Amazon, I use a, um, a link service called pixelfy.me. So it's P-I-X-E-L-F-Y dot M-E. I've got a link down below. Um, it's cheap, it's like 10 bucks a month. Um, you'll get a bit of a discount, I think, if you use that link and maybe pay for a half cup of coffee for me. But, but that's the service I use, and it helps um, reenact some um, buyer behaviors on Amazon to give your listing some rank credit or some rank juice. The link that I like to use, if you come down here to create tracking link, is the Supreme URL 2.0. What that basically does is, is it reenacts the organic behavior of somebody typing in a keyword, um, but it will only show your listing versus the entire, um, you know, multiple pages full of results. So using this example of this product here that we've kind of looked at, you basically take the ace in here, um, put your gardening bag, launch, Reddit. You put your ace in right here. And let's say we want to um, rank for gardening bag in this particular example. You basically generate a link. Boom, that quick. Copy it. I'll show you basically what it looks like when, when you click through. So when somebody clicks through your Reddit ad, this is basically what happens. So it reenacts somebody that just typed in gardening bag, except instead of multiple pages full of listings and distractions, it's basically gonna show you here your, uh, your uh, ASIN that you're targeting. And if somebody ends up clicking on this, it's gonna give you click-through rate, um, ranking juice, um, which Amazon likes. And if somebody ends up adding it to cart or buying it, it's gonna give your ASIN credit as though somebody was typing in gardening bag. So this can be a very powerful tool, especially at launches and especially when you're driving external traffic from places like Reddit or Facebook or, or elsewhere. So, so we'll use this link here uh, in our Reddit ads so that anybody that clicks through can kind of get some juice on this. And then you basically need to create an image. Um, so this one's 1200 by 628 is, is kind of the ad format, um, which is definitely different than what you'd find on Facebook. Um, I use Canva, which is like a super simple, easy way to uh, create graphics if you're not a graphic designer. So you don't need to pay a designer to do this stuff. So let's just create our, our, our kind of blank ad. And then what's cool about Canva is it, it's got a lot of like pre-designed features depending on what you're, you're kind of wanting to build out. Uh, so let's just kind of scroll through here and just see if one catches our eye. Da -da -da. All right, this one's pretty poppy. Um, let's go ahead and copy that one over. So again, all you need, really need to do here is just kind of edit the uh, edit the copy on on whatever the template is that you select. So let's just say fifty percent off launch special. We're not gonna like, I'm not gonna overthink the copy here, but let's just say like this week only. Let's move the 
this over here. Maybe make this a little bit smaller. And then remember I downloaded this image here, so let's pop this one up. I like to throw the actual listing image so people kind of recognize it when they click through. And just so people know it's Amazon, I like to kind of throw in Amazon badging just so people aren't surprised when they kick over to a to the click through page and it's actually an Amazon page. So I'll just put something like this on, on here like that. So it doesn't need to be fancy, but I'd use something like that. And then let's just go ahead and download this. So literally, I don't know what that took us three minutes. We created an ad, got our Pixelfy rank link, targeting the product and targeting the keyword that we care about. While it's kind of loading that image, the call to action I like to do use here is shop now. Again, you want people to know that they're actually going through with buying intent. So this can help weed out people that actually um, um, kind of click on this to help your, your performance on conversion. But And bada bing, bada bang, you're, you're kind of done. So this is basically what somebody would see scrolling through that Reddit sub subgroup, which it looks like about 500,000 plus people in the US per day are gonna, are gonna kind of scroll through. And I'm gonna pay anytime somebody clicks through on this ad, I'm gonna pay roughly 40 cents, I know, or up to 50 cents, but most of the click throughs will be around 40 cents. So, so a couple of different ways that we can leverage an ad type like this. Um, the first, which we just kind of mapped out here is, is super simple, right? So you don't really need to do coupon codes. You don't need to send them through anything complicated. You can basically just say, I guess in this case, hey, you know, it's it's thirty dollar kind of launch special this week, and it would normally cost you sixty bucks for our bag. No coupon code needed. You can put all that kind of stuff in the copy, um, and basically you just you know create that Reddit ad. You use the super URL, and then you take them directly to that discounted offer on Amazon. So that's like the simple approach. It's it's one that I've used successfully, uh, and you you know Amazon loves it, right? Because you've got a bunch of external traffic driving to Amazon, and then if they ultimately click through your listing. Um, for that keyword, you're going to get a lot of benefit, but ultimately if they end up adding it to cart or, or, or buying it, which a lot of people will coming from this ad, you're going to get a ton of, of rank juice as well, um, especially because it's external traffic. Another option um, that you can use um, is to actually send them to a landing page first and then ultimately to your listing on, on Amazon via the super URL. So how this might look. And for those of you that use Helium 10, um, they've got a new uh, uh, option here at the top called Portals, which enables you to use landing pages that are very Amazon specific. Uh, and so that's one of the ones I like, and it's cheap and free if you already use the, the Helium 10 software. But you come through here, um, and there's a whole kind of ton of different options, but like product sales are, are, the, are kind of the pages that I like to like to leverage for these. So. So let's imagine in this case, this was our, our kind of gardening example. We could throw in our listing image here. We could put in the title of our product. We could do this 50% off sale. It's got some really cool stuff up here where it's got like urgency. So if you're doing a limited time launch special, you can have that tie into kind of some of the messaging here. You can throw your logo up and you can kind of go through here and, and kind of do some feature benefits and, and help kind of pre-sell the product uh, and get people to have a higher likelihood to convert when they actually go to your Amazon page. So that's option number two, is, is to use kind of an interim landing page and then send them through. The third option, which I think might be near and dear to a lot of people's hearts if you've ever run Facebook um, many chat rebates, is you probably found that there's just you know a lot of really crappy buyers that come through Facebook ads for many chat. Because it's become so popular over the last six months especially, you just get a ton of buyers that all they do is buy these 100% rebate offers, their crappy uh, buyer quality scores from Amazon so they can actually hurt your your listing. They may have reviews that get deleted, uh, but they're just they're a customer that shops a ton on rebates and uh, it, it just becomes incredibly frustrating and, and very expensive and wasted money sometimes when you get these, these low quality buyers through Facebook ads. So another approach to doing Reddit ads is to actually use rebates. So you set everything up very much the same that you would for a Facebook mini chat rebate where you use a mini chat kind of messenger sequence, but instead of using a Facebook interest to target them and, and shoot them over to messenger, you actually use Reddit ads using the exact same approach that we just talked about. But instead of that link um, being a pixel file link that we used up here, uh, what you can basically do is send them to a many chat landing page. And then when they click through on that, they're gonna go into, into the messenger kind of re uh, rebate flow and you can kind of send them through that many chat rebate. So what that looks like if you go into, into your ManyChat account and you go down to growth tools here, you uh, create a new growth tool, 
you can do something here called a landing page. So if you click through on that, um, this is what it uh, is kind of looks like. Um, and you can edit all this stuff here, free flow. So you can do something like, you know, 50% off, rebate, gardening bag, launch special. Again, I'm not gonna get cute with, with copy here, but you kind of get the idea. And then you could come in here again and do this, drop your image in here. Or you could even use the Reddit ad if you wanna kinda of keep things seamless. Boom, like that. So click next, click next. And then you basically, instead of this opt-in flow, you would basically uh, replace that with whatever your, your many chat rebate flow is that you would normally use for for say a Facebook ad. So let's just pretend that uh, that this is our actual flow, although it's not, but you basically kind of plug that in there and then you hit next. So through this URL here, now you've got a landing page to your rebated mini chat flow that you can plug in. So instead of using your Reddit ad for your Pixelfy, you basically can put that landing page. So when somebody clicks on this Reddit ad, they go to a landing page for your many chat rebate flow and then enter it much like they would through a Facebook ad. The only difference being it is a lot cleaner of a buyer. You're not going to have the same cesspool of kind of rebate low quality buyers. It's going to be much more likelihood that they're not going to be scamming you, which has become very, very popular with Facebook rebates. And so it, it's just an, another awesome option to, to get some clean traffic. And really guys, I don't know anybody that's doing this. So this is really hot off the presses stuff that's working for us right now as I build my seven figure brands. And I've been using this my last few launches with a ton of success. So whether you want to use method one, which is super simple, just redirecting uh, somebody from a targeted interest to your actual listing page, whether you want to get a little bit fancier and pre-sell them using a landing page like Helium 10's Portal's landing page, or even using it for your traditional rebate campaigns, but instead of using Facebook ads, using really cool, untainted interest groups within Reddit and driving your traffic that way. Either method you choose, this is a cutting edge approach to ranking products. I hope it's been valuable. Um, I'm gonna be posting videos like this at least weekly, guys. Um, cutting edge stuff, deep dive over the shoulder, step-by-step -step tutorials on how I'm growing my seven-figure brands. If you got any value out of it at all, it would mean a lot if you just hit the subscribe button. Uh, it's going to help me kind of generate interest in this channel. So when people are searching for Amazon related topics, they find us, but join the community guys. I'm enjoying this ride so far. Hope you are as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.